afraid of government trees in charge, fearless protests must hold on October. Shewere speaks. Obeyele Shewere, human rights activist and one of the organizers of the end but governance protest has said that fearless protests slated for October must take place because they are not afraid of of the federal government charges of treason against innocent Nigerians who are protesting against bad governance and hunger. Shawere, who spoke on a rise television on Sunday after he was arrested and released at the Maritala Mohammed International Airport by men of the Department of State Services, DSS, on arrival from the United States of America, stated that the fearless protest is a continuation of the end bad governance protest and must hold in October. And must hold in October as planned, irrespective of the government's threat. He said this is part of a series of protests that have been organized by Nigerians, which started in August 1st. That is the end bad, end bad governance protest. It is supposed to be a continuation, but because of the 15 demands that the government did not even attend to. Instead of the federal government arrest, arrested, Instead of that, the federal government arrested a lot of minors and charged them for bogus offenses of treason for carrying play cards. It is going to be a continuation in the mobilization and conversation for it has been on for it has been on since August of ago, since the end of August revolt. That is the end bad governance revolt. Everybody should be prepared for it, and it's a matter that the citizens should not allow this government to continue with this hunger, starvation, and incompetence. On whether he doesn't know anything about placards, on whether he doesn't know that the current placards under this government is treason, he said it is treason to arrest and detain citizens for crimes they never committed. It is not the first time I was accused of treason. In fact, I heard about the offense of treason in 1992 at the University of Lagos when we did Babangida must go and the police arrested us and took us to the Western Avenue police station and asked us to write statements under duress that we wanted to overthrow the government. Femi Falana was one of us and we were charged for treason. I was also charged for treason in 2019 by Buhari. So it is not new to me. That is not our focus. Our focus is that we have a country to liberate and the people to save. Whatever offense that is thrown our way should not discourage us. It is left for the people to determine what constitutes an offense of treason. In this situation, it is the Tunibu regime that is committing treason. And I must say to you also that in 1994, Tunimbu was accused of treason by a bacha. That was why he left the country. In our own case, we are not going to run because nobody is afraid of play cards. On why some of them still ask as if election is still on, when the president has said that politics is over and that Nigeria should be ready to make sacrifices, the former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AEC, said, we never ran an election in the first place, but that is a conversation for another day. The issue of ground, the issue on ground is as essential. Even the other day, I saw some elders, including the former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, went to Tunibu to demand for a new constitution, which is one of our demands. We talked about minimum wage. We talked about wastage in government. You're asking people to tighten their belts, but you are there buying the jet of $115 million, renovating the home of your vice president for 21 billion naira. Everybody in the National Assembly got an SUV for close to $150,000. Nigerians need to understand that this is just a hoax which is why I coined the word yesterday that the government is no longer practicing democracy but orizocracy, which is the government of rice. You know that the botanical name for rice is oriza, oriza sativa. Any problem in Nigeria, give them rice. Flood, a medjugri, send them rice. People are sick, send them rice. The government has become a joke that brings us back to the conversation about treason. If in the law court representing an accused person, someone who has been accused of treason for crying pay cards, you look at the prosecutor to wonder whether he went to a law school. On his arrest and release at the Lagos airport, he said that he was arrested and his passport seized but was later returned to him. He, however, complained that the biggest bag he came back with was missing and he hoped that nobody would go and plant something there. I'm hoping that nobody should plant something inside, something funny inside my bag. Even if they re-arrest me, I'm not a stranger to them. We'll resolve that when we get there, Shore said. I am going to say this. I am so mad and so angry 
that most of us in the midst of all of this, we still support this thing. Let me explain to you how this is. It's just like you have brothers and sisters. Now, these brothers and sisters are not necessarily your brothers and sisters. Maybe in the day, there's an orphanage and you people met at this orphanage. And for reason best known, you know these people very well. Then, all of a sudden, they come, come arrest them. As an accident, they come pack some of them. One talk, say, this person do this one. And you know, saying a lie. Maybe they are just at the wrong place at the wrong time. And then, likely, likely, they come and charge them for treason. How are you going to feel? Are you going to fold your arms? Because some of you are coming out to shout, eh, why did they go outside? Why won't they go out? Before you carry your mouth that is smelling, that you have not brushed, to come here and tell me that, eh, eh, tell me they should be patient. See, there is nothing like they should be patient. I've said it before. So far, the government came in and bought cars, SUV, uh, what's they called? What did they call the name of their SUV? Bulletproof. Hmm? They bought a car worth over $100 million. I don't have an issue with them. Huh? I don't get issue with them uh -uh, for waiting. My own is that what is good for the goods is good for the ganda. That is what I'm saying here. What exactly is good for the good is good for the ganda. Meaning, if you know go feel replicate and friendly, we are no duam at all. No duam. But these people come up every day, they show us, you know, you see signs that these people are actually spending real money. And then, what are you trying to do? Hmm? What exactly do you trying to do? It don't make sense now. And you know what? In this government, even if you work legit, your work is legit, and maybe somebody with the jealous you blow with soon, they will arrest you. They will start to probe you. Government where they spend money, lavish money, they will come do it in. They probe if it's where they will probe you, then if he won't give you if you care is not taken and luck is not on your side. If you don't get connections, they feel they feel accused you of crime, maybe say you know commit. I'm telling you. <laughs> so let me build Lagos, we build Nigeria too. We are not protesting, give him more time. He will deliver as a delivered in Lagos. The federal government should arrest any youth that wants to disturb the peace of the nation. But I'm twenty twenty seven will stand by you. This person has a Zemo. No reason this person. This is why Nigeria should split into six. No one will like you sure of being motivated by tribal interest because both he and the Yoruba both both he and the Bola Metrumbo are Yoruba. Makes sense. Let an evil man be in front of any protest or movement against this regime. And you see the attack dogs, the FFK, the Sam or Maseye, the Bai or Nanoga, the Reno Mokri, it is they will come out and back and back an evil blood to seek power. The Southwest will forget about hunger and turn against the evil. We don't have a nation. The earlier this problem is solved, the better. You see that line? We don't have a nation. That is the best. And that is the best way to sum up what, whatever we are going through in this country. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.